Whittier, welcome back to the follow-up video to the Whitwood Shopping Center. We uh, thought about doing some food. I talked about that, and so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to head over to La Crosta. You can see it over my shoulder there in a few minutes. But I wanted to thank you guys for watching that last video. It was really, really cool to see all of the comments and learn so much more about the mall that I had no idea about. And um, there's a few things I wanted to cover at the end of this video. I wanted to talk to you about a few more things. We, find, we found out about the arcade, what the arcade name was. And um, there are some great photographs that were sent to me as well. More photographs that we're gonna talk about. And I wanna show you those at the end of the video, but we're gonna eat today. So let's find out what's going on here at the Whitwood Shopping Center, guys, and eat some lunch. Let's go. Ah, Tony's Pizza, 15624 Whitwood Lane, Whittier, California. I definitely wanted to show you the inside of Tony's Pizza, show you a couple of slices, a couple of pies, and yeah, it is uh, still here. Not the same ownership. They've been through multiple ownership changes but they still have the pizza by the slice. They got combos and good deals. So Tony's will always be a part of the Whitwood. So guys, Tony's Pizza was part of the original Whitwood Mall. So we had to stop by and show you what's going on there. Still selling by the slice, still delicious. And uh, yeah, Tony's is always gonna be a staple here at the Whitwood Shopping Center. But we're gonna try a new pizza place, La Crosta. Let's go check it out. La Crosta. La Crosta is located at 15526 Whittier Boulevard, the Whitwood Shopping Center. This is the second location. And if you love wood-fired pizza, this is the place to be, guys. This is one of the newest additions here at the Whitwood Shopping Center. And I grabbed a pie today. I had the Fugazi, the Fugazi, a pizza. Fresh mozzarella, San Marzano tomato sauce, basil, pineapple, bacon, jalapenos, and hot honey. There it is, and it is delish. People often ask, what makes La Crosta different than most pizzas? And it's obviously the wood fire. The wood fire just gets that char onto that crust and gives it a smoky, delicious flavor that is undeniable. Some Whittier folks rate this as their number one pizza in Whittier, and uh, I can't blame them. It's pretty darn good. I also had to get the meatball panini. This is a half order. It is gigantic, and that crust, that panini, is also made the same way, wood-fired with that char, that beautiful smoky flavor, these huge delicious meatballs, and guys, this is Highly recommended by me, my Whittier. I would definitely do this again and again and again. It is absolutely dynamite. You're going to love it. The uh, fresh ingredients and the wood fire really set this pizza apart. It is uh, really, really good stuff. Now, you can jump online, head over to lacrostala.com, and you can kind of check out the venue and get a little history on the place. It's very easy to use, and you can actually uh, take a look at all of the different pizzas that they offer and menu options there. All right, guys, there you go. That was an amazing lunch. That was uh, spectacular. That sandwich is next level. That meatball panini is amazing. And as you saw, that was a half order. You could easily share that with somebody, and I did. They said that that was one of the best sandwiches they've had in a really, really long time. So um, I highly recommend the meatball panini, and I also uh, recommend the pizza, obviously. That is, uh, that's a no-brainer. Try to eat it here, though, if you can. Right fresh out of the oven is the way to go. And um, to some Whittier folks, this is the best pizza in Whittier. Check out their other location over in Uptown Whittier on Philadelphia and Greenleaf inside the Whittier Brewing Company. Uh, so right now, we're going to go and grab some dessert. Let's go get some ice cream right next door. You're not going to want to miss this. Check it out. Before we head over, here's another Whitwood Mall fun fact. All right, guys, I had to come back to JCPenney's because I had one crazy fact that I forgot to mention. My wife was saying JCPenney's used to be two, uh, two stories. And that is correct. It was a two-story department store, and the linens and all those things were on top, uh, but it got chopped off and ended up being a first-floor 
department store only. And another great interesting fact is the front doors right here, front doors to JCPenney's at the old Whitwood Mall lined up right here all the way down to Sears and that's how things connected here at the Whitwood Mall. Very, very interesting stuff. Brewster's Ice Cream 15526 Whittier Boulevard Suite A. Real ice cream made right here in Whittier, California. It's made here daily. And I got an access pass backstage to let you know what is happening right here at Brewster's in Whittier. Check it out. All right, guys, I'm in house at Brewster's and I'm here with Sean, a Lucerna graduate, and he's running the show here today. Sean, how you doing? Good, how are you Good today? to see you, man. Um, tell me a little bit about what makes this place different than most ice cream joints. I think here it's just very like family oriented and I think the owners really took like a big sweep on getting like younger teenagers like an opportunity to step into like the work field. So I think that's a really like a uh, stuck foot with me of like the community that we built here and like honestly like we have like a whole different family here of like high school college people and obviously we have some older people too care taking care of like the back house but I think just like the community base that we have here it's very more connected and then obviously all of our ice creams like made fresh daily all of our cones are made fresh daily than like other places where like you have machines like going through that so I think that's what makes us different than most other ice cream places as well yeah I noticed that you got your fresh um, ice cream daily so mm -hmm. the the new flavors last for a week or so is that what it is yeah so yeah. usually we have some flavors that stay all the time and we have seasonals that we swap out routinely just based off like what people like more we get that um we'll put on new flavors to see if people like that honestly just what sells best to the customers and then you got some uh non-dairy yes we non do have like um, a non-dairy option in our back we usually keep it around like five flavors okay that's good to know because uh i am i'm a little the dairy's a little rough uh -huh. on me yeah i'm getting older so but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a look around and just show everybody here what's going on here at the Whitwood Shopping Center. And this is a really cool place. It doesn't matter how cold it gets. People love ice cream. Right? Yeah, hot exactly. Even way. winter, they're yeah, always back here too. So we'll look for those winter flavors. But thank you, Sean. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. It was nice Good to meet you. Yeah. As Sean mentioned, waffle cones made daily, vegan options, and non-dairy. All right, guys, we're gonna try the uh, pumpkin patch. This is the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch? Correct. Yeah. And it's got some graham cracker in here? Or what is that? What's that? It's a graham chunk, yeah. Graham? Yeah. Mm. If November was a flavor, that would be it right there. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's definitely our pumpkin flavors. And with holiday season here, make sure and grab a pie or cake. You can order in advance or pick it up in-house. So this is the hot fudge sundae. Whoa! <laughs> it's a brownie in there, right? Yes, correct. Wow. And then two scoops of ice cream with the whipped cream, cherry, and nuts. Whoa. And if you stop by the window, you can see the array of different options they have here. You can also jump on your phone and go to BrewstersOnline.com and see all the details. Sometimes there are some great online offers and customer appreciation nights. All right, guys, I'm going to try and tackle this amazing Sunday. We've got some uh, banana some coffee, some hot fudge, and yeah. Mm. All right, guys, I'm still working on this monster Sunday. This, and um, my wife's not going to be too happy with me, but I'm doing this for you, the YouTube subscriber. Because um, you got to find out what's going on here at the Whitwood and in Whittier, California. So this one's for you, Whittier. Somebody's got to do it. Mm. So many food options here at the Whitwood Shopping Center. We're going to have to come back and hit some of these because I can't get to them all in this video. But yeah, definitely coming back. All right, as you can see, there are so many delicious places to eat here.
at the Whitwood Shopping Center and uh, just a couple of notables that uh, we absolutely love and probably won't get to in this video, but maybe we'll come back for it. But um, the Red Robin, my family loves the Red Robin and uh, you can never go wrong there. And uh, the Lucky Pig is absolutely chef's kiss. It's a great place. And um, those of you that love the habit, I like the habit. Is it number one over In-N-Out Burger? No, no, but it's good. It's good. It, uh, the habit's really good. And so many great little spots here at the Whitwood Shopping Center. We're gonna end with one more, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. I just ate a whole bunch of ice cream and I'm not ready to do that right now. So we'll do that tomorrow and we'll wrap up this video here at the Whitwood Shopping Center. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Make sure and subscribe and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Now that I have your attention, uh, we are here at Coco's in Whittier and it, oh, I'm sorry, IHOP in Whittier and uh, we wanted to end the video with something nostalgic and uh, so here we are at IHOP. Actually, there's, there's four reasons why we are here at IHOP right now. Reason number one, I wanted pancakes. Reason number two, I wanted to end the video with something nostalgic, something uh, kind of a throwback, and IHOP is fitting the bill because this used to be the location of Coco's, and so yeah, we're going with that. Reason number three and four, Ruby's Diner doesn't open this early, and uh, I needed to do an early morning video so that we are able to upload this by Friday. So there you go. All right, as I channel that Coco's energy in my mind, I'm at Coco's right now. And um, I'm just like, I'm just getting those vintage vibes right now. But um, definitely wanted to thank you guys for watching that last Whitwood Mall video. That was killer, and a lot of you had so many comments, and uh, so many of you took me down memory lane with your memories, and that was really, really special, because that is what this channel is all about. It's about community vibes, it's about good vibes, and um, learning a little bit more about the city that we live in, and um, that is the best way to learn from the people that have lived here in the past and sharing their memories with us. So that was that was amazing. And uh, I really, really appreciate that because we got a lot of information. So thanks for that. And speaking of thanks, I mean, Thanksgiving is next week and I definitely wanted to take a moment to thank you. Cheers. Thank you guys for supporting and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate that. And as long as you guys keep tuning in. I am definitely going to try and keep going. So thank you for that. Have a great Thanksgiving. Have a safe Thanksgiving. And um, I can't thank you guys enough. Sincerely, it means a lot to me when um, you watch the videos, when you comment, when you see me out in the streets, out in public, and you come up to me and you tell me how much you enjoy what we're doing here. Um, it means the world to me. So thank you for that. Uh, we're going to keep we're going to keep rolling with the good vibes here on my Whittier TV. So thank you so much. And uh, definitely didn't want to go without saying thank you for that. So cheers to you. Okay, so as promised, I have some photographs from a follower. Ann Green, you are an all-star. If you're out there watching this, thank you so much. Not only did you give us some great photographs that we're gonna share with you right now, but you also told us what the name of the arcade was. Uh, Cyber Station was the name of the arcade over at the food court at the old Whitwood Mall. So thank you for that. Mystery solved, I appreciate that. And uh, Anne was the mall director from 1992 to 2006. So you can only imagine the memories that she has 
Uh, she has a lot of good stuff there. But uh, she showed us a few pictures on Facebook, so I want to show them to you right here on uh, YouTube and share those with you. Once again, have a great Thanksgiving, guys. I will catch up with you very, very soon. Thank you for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Once again, thank you to Anne Green. Can you imagine the memory she has as mall director from 1992 to 2006? She was in charge of putting together 62 events a year. Wow. You know she has some information uh, locked up there for sure. There she is. And that time capsule that I photoed, they even have the guys putting it into the ground right here. Here's the photo of that. Absolutely incredible. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.